Recently I bought a camera off my daughter, an SLR, where are we, over here, it's a 200D Canon SLR single reflex camera, which they're really good. Mobile phones take good photos, but these are, these are actually engineered to take photos. This model's, I think it's 2017 model, um, is very light and uh, you can capture a hell of a lot of film uh, using your uh, SD card which you can pick up for about anywhere from twenty to thirty dollars anyway that's that's it but the problem with these cameras is um, well I'm not sure y you might be able to take photos in JPEG but generally the best photos are sort of captured in what they call raw data or CC2 I think it's called and you to if you want to download the photos or copy the photos onto your computer for social media uh, they're in they come up in raw data and you can't then export them up straight away they have to be converted to JPEGs so you need a program and just quickly there's a great one that Hannah my daughter told me about called dark table and dark tables fantastic you can do it's as it's as it's probably even more powerful than Photoshop, uh, the things that you can do. I've heard uh, uh, quite a few reviews on YouTube and it's just an amazing and it's totally free. You can download it. It's not a massively huge program. It doesn't take up lots of space but it, the things that you can do with it are amazing. Um, you can bring to life, for example, this shot here. Uh, here we go. Uh, that, If you were looking through the window uh, with your eye, that's how it sort of looked. But when you take the photo, it's not quite as brilliant as that. But you can bring it back using this program, uh, which I highly recommend. Now, the thing with it is, you might think, well, okay, <coughs> as I did, uh, it's all very well to uh, load all the photos and, and view them through um, Darktable, but how the hell do you get them into... Uh, a medium where you can sort of copy it from your computer onto your um, or sorry upload to the internet now you can do this with Darktable it's got a thing there's these arrows on the side as you can see and you by the, doing those you can open things up but what you do is once you've had a play around with it and you can do all I won't go into all the things you can do but you can you know contrast uh, brightness it goes far beyond that oh look it's just unbelievable but once you've finished everything and it also oh another good thing with Darktable it keeps a record of every change that you make so you can go back if you if you think you've done a few changes and you've gone past uh, the point of where you think now nah, that last change was better you can actually go back to it it records it but I'll let you uh, work that out it's in one of these panels here it keeps every every change that you made <laughs> and then you can save it in, in your best change. But uh, I thought, well, how do you save? Once you've got them on here, how do you save the photo? We actually have to export them. And you can export them in... Um, you can export them in virtually a lot of different... I'll just come down here. Uh, if, well, where do you want to export them to? So you can export them to somewhere on your computer. Uh, by just pressing this button here, select directory, and then you can save them in whatever format you want. JPEG, uh, if you click here, I think it is, there's a whole lot of different things. You can, you know, TIFFs, PNG files, which are popular. Uh, but JPEG 8-bit I use, and that seems to be a default, which is pretty good. Uh, and it's totally free. As I say, this program is totally free. Doesn't use up a hell of a lot of space and you won't regret it, uh, the things that you can do. So you just basically um, get your SD card, copy it, copy the files somewhere onto your computer in the raw CC2, I think it is, whatever, um, and then view them through this, change them, and then export them to your computer to later on upload uh, to Facebook or YouTube or uh, Twitter or wherever you want how, whatever your sort of um, flavour is and yeah, highly recommend it, give it a go